In League of Legends, Lee Sin is a champion whose abilities consume energy instead of mana. On today's episode of Law Math, we'll be taking a look at his abilities and the math behind them. Let's take a look at Lee Sin's abilities now. Lee Sin's passive ability, Flurry, will trigger after using an ability granting him 40% attack speed and 15 energy on auto attacks. The bonus attack speed and energy will be removed after Lee Sin has either auto attacked twice or 3 seconds have passed. Sonic Wave has a cooldown equal to 12 seconds minus the ability's current level. It will also cost 50 energy. When cast, Lee Sin will deal physical damage in a line to the first target struck within 975 units. The target will also be revealed. The damage dealt will be equal to 20 plus the ability's current level times 30 plus Lee Sin's bonus attack damage times 0.9. If a target was hit by Sonic Wave, Lee Sin will have the ability to cast Resonating Strike within the next 3 seconds for 30 energy. When cast, Lee Sin will dash to the target struck by Sonic Wave as long as they were within 1100 units. It will then deal physical damage equal to 20 plus the ability's current level times 30 plus Lee Sin's bonus attack damage times 0.9 plus the target's missing health times 0.08. The maximum damage dealt to minions and monsters is 400. Safeguard has a 9 second cooldown and costs 50 energy. When cast, Lee Sin will dash to an ally within 700 units. Both Lee Sin and the ally will be granted a 5 second shield with strength equal to the ability's current level times 40 plus Lee Sin's ability power times 0.8. After being cast, Lee Sin will have the ability to cast Iron Will within the next 3 seconds for 30 energy. When cast, Lee Sin will gain Life Seal and Spell Vamp equal to the ability's current level times 5%. Tempest has a 10 second cooldown and costs 50 energy. When cast, Lee Sin will deal magic damage to all enemies within 450 50 units and reveal them for 4 seconds. The damage dealt will be equal to 25 plus the ability's current level times 35 plus Lee Sin's bonus attack damage. If an enemy was hit by Tempest, Lee Sin will have the ability to cast Cripple within the next 3 seconds for 30 energy. When cast, Lee Sin will reduce the movement speed and attack speed of all enemies within 600 units who were also struck by Tempest by 10% plus the ability's current level times 10%. The movement speed and attack speed will gradually be restored over 4 seconds. Lee Sin's ultimate ability, Dragon's Rage, has a cooldown equal to 105 seconds minus the ability's current level times 15 seconds. It also has no energy cost. When cast, Lee Sin will deal physical damage to a target within 375 units equal to the ability's current level times 200 plus Lee Sin's bonus attack damage times 2. The enemy struck will also be knocked back 1200 units over the course of 1 second. Any other enemy unit struck by the knocked back target will be dealt the same damage and will be knocked up for 1 second. Overall, Lee Sin's abilities grant him large amounts of damage for very minimal amounts of attack damage. Also, if you'd like to learn more about Lee Sin's lore in addition to the math we went over today, please check out League of Legends Blind Ambition, a new live-action short film airing on Machinima Prime by KNK Productions. It goes into Lee Sin's backstory and explains how he became a champion in the league. I've watched it myself, and it's pretty awesome. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you'd like to be informed whenever I release new videos. Click the annotation on the screen if you'd like to see the previous Law Math episode. You can also like Law Math on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and watch me livestream on Twitch. Thanks for watching this episode of Law Math.